Let's do this one. This is from Sandman, another MGTOW guy. And this is entitled, President Biden will make everyone a priority, except white males. So let's see what this is about. Hi everyone, Sandman here. This video was brought to you by a donation from Joshua. He didn't give me a specific topic. So what I'd like to do is talk about this particular tweet that now President Biden put out where he said this and I quote, our priority will be black, Latino, Asian, and Native American owned small businesses, women owned small businesses, and finally having equal access to resources to reopen and rebuild, unquote. A whole bunch of guys on Reddit started freaking out about this, but what's the real likelihood that he's going to try and do helicopter drops of money on failing female businesses? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this was such a bad choice. And those run by minorities. What about all the commercial real estate out there that's now worthless thanks to the coof? If it was all put mark to market in price, it would bankrupt the banks that hold the loans on such property. I think that most of us are forgetting that it's a politician's job to lie to us with promises that they'll never keep, to make us feel better about ourselves and delude ourselves. After reading this tweet, he probably shouldn't have included that part about helping Asians, because they have Asian privilege. The idea oh, that no! Speaking of which, the next chapter in the um, Dave Rubin book Jake and I are reading is entitled Asi Asian Privilege. I'm not kidding. Sleepy Joe is going to stay awake long enough to fix all these problems is an illusion. It's just about virtue signaling and pandering. Joe Biden is apparently both capable of, according to these right-wing people who think that the election was stolen, both capable of the greatest election fraud in the history of the world, but he's also too sleepy to do anything. Very consistent. Nothing will change. The males that are currently making up the majority of successful business leaders and entrepreneurs will still make up the majority shareholders and businesses where minorities and women are employed. A good example is Google, where the majority owners of Google are two light-skinned males, and it doesn't matter if they hire an Indian or a woman as a CEO. They're just hiding behind their virtue-signaling CEOs. Again... Like, yeah, power structures in the United States are bad. Capitalism has created a system where we basically have private sector monarchs like the people who run Google or Twitter or Disney or whatever. And that's not good. I agree. Let's, let's have democratic workplaces then. Hooray, problem solved. So they get to keep their wealth if and when the real shit hits the fan. If as a government you give money to women and minorities to prop up their failing businesses... Once the coup is over, the government charity will run out. And the Why do you assume that it's... Okay, you already discussed that businesses are failing because of COVID and the lockdowns that are necessary for the interest of the public health. But you're assuming that the businesses run by women and non-white people are insolvent not because of COVID, but because they're women and non-white people. Yikes. The businesses will still fail. You can't stop this process. Capitalism is all about letting the inefficient companies fail and allowing the new innovative ones that provide value to come in and do their thing. That's not how capitalism has worked in the United States in, like, forever. So that's not how it works. No. Large businesses get bailouts. It's not good. It's shitty. It happened now with COVID. Do you know how many, many like, interest-free loans and, and handouts have been given to corporations in this past year? The amount of wealth transfer from the bottom to the top has been unprecedented over the course of COVID because the government's been shit and instead of giving money to the citizens so it can actually work its way into the economy naturally, they just gave trillions of dollars to people who are already wealthy and didn't need the money. It's ridiculous. It's all about creative destruction. I'll discuss more in just a moment. But let me first tell everyone about today's sponsor, Ancient Purity. Tom has been going MGTOW for quite some time and doing video requests on my channel. He has also been selling dozens of different products like the ones that you see here. Most vitamins and minerals are poor, ineffective, and unabsorbable garbage. Ancient Purity follows the principle of super clean products that are absorbable and at a dose that works. There the supplements industry is bullshit, by the way. It's total bullshit. Also getting decent reviews on Amazon.com. Also, these aren't the chemicals they put in the water to turn the frogs gay. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay! So visit ancientpurity.com today. 
Anyways, now back to the... Let's take a look at ancientpurity.com. Ancient purity. Ooh. Apothecary jars. Nine nine... <laughs> 999 pounds to 1999 pounds milk thistle powder how much is this milk thistle powder milk thistle is unique in its ability to protect the liver with no medical equivalent in cases of poisoning with amanita mushrooms which destroy the liver it's the only treatment option it has been so dramatically effective that the treatment has never been disputed even by the medical community <laughs> Boy, you know, I was just saying the other day, I I regularly, every week, I am getting poisoning from Amanita mushrooms. And I'm like, man, I wish I had something for when I regularly get poisoned by these mushrooms I keep eating. <laughs> oh, God. Pine pollen tincture? Pine pollen is the perfect foundation for elite nutrition. This supercharged elixir contains 200 bioactive nutrients, vitamins, and minerals that help unlock peak physical and mental health. Pine pollen has been a staple in Chinese and Korean medicine for more than 2,000 years. Is there a thing on this that says FDA has not evaluated these claims? Yep. Disclaimer. <laughs> The product and the claims made about the specific products. I got to do this quick, like it's in, like an in infomercial. <clears throat> Micro machine guy. Um, the products and the claims made about the specific products, articles, and claims made in this article, informative, written, or through the site, have not been evaluated by, by Ancient Purity, the MDAR, the FSA, the United States, the FDI, are not approved by diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent disease. The information provided on the site is for informational purposes and not only is intended to a substitute for advice from your physician or other healthcare professionals or any information contained on or in any product label or packaging. You should not use the information on the site for diagnosis or treatment or any health problems for your prescription or any medication or other treatment. You should consult with a healthcare professional before starting any diet, exercise, or supplement program before taking medication or if you use it. You get it. That's the bit. <laughs> it's bullshit. It's all bullshit. Video. So what's a guy to do when the president says he'll help everyone but him? Well, seeing that many of you out there listening to me identify as black albino masculine presenting transgendered lesbians, you should be fine in this new America. That is, of course, until- Won't anyone think of the straight, white, cis men? They've been downtrodden for too long. Well, you find out that Biden is most likely lying about helping people. There has been talk about the Great Reset, and there's a lot of misinformation about it, so I decided to do some research. Oh, God, more conspiracy. Why are all the... Everything I do, from sovereign citizens to politics, chuds... MGTOW, it's all blending together. All of a sudden, all the MGTOW people are into conspiracies. All of a sudden, all the Republicans are into Q. All of a sudden, all the Q people are spouting sovereign citizen nonsense. What is happening? Are we at like the singularity of all shitty nonsense viewpoints where it just all coalesces into a single dense belief system that's destructive? What is happening? Well, apparently it has something to do with transitioning from shareholder capitalism to stakeholder capitalism. Right now we're in shareholder capitalism, where the people that get rewarded the most from company profits are those that own the shares and not the workers. The pendulum has swung so far that the shareholders are getting roughly 99% of that wealth. I doubt that they now- Capitalism. You're describing capitalism. I want to start sharing their wealth with women and minorities at men's expense. Yes, Jeff Bezos is out here being like, boy, I, I, I have hundreds of, I guess Elon Musk now is the richest guy in the world. Elon's out here going, boy, I can't wait to give my billions of dollars to black trans women. What's more likely is that they're recognizing the wealth inequality in society and they want to keep their wealth gains. So if they step aside and let women and minorities take their jobs and make millions of dollars a year as CEOs, while they, the men, stand aside and watch from a distance collecting their billions from the rise in share prices, then they can still be capitalists, but now they've paid their sins by giving up their so-called powerful positions. What the hell? What does any of this have to do with, like, the gender or race of people? What are you talking about? Up to someone else. They're helping the stakeholder. Biden revoked tr Trump's trans military ban. That's good. There's in the company giving women and minorities token high-paying jobs while they still collect 95% plus of the value in their company in the form of share growth. To those looking in from the outside, though, 
they will look as though they're trying to help the wealth inequality situation. But in reality, they're just cementing that inequality and looking like the good guys. Right, so your beef is with capitalism. Your beef would be with the capitalist system as it exists today, not race politics or identity politics. A stakeholder works for a company or might be the one purchasing the products from that company. You can be a stakeholder and shareholder if you work at a company while also owning shares. That's what the Great Reset and Building Back Better is all about. It's not about changing the monetary system. It's about stakeholder versus shareholder capitalism, where all those diversity hires are going to look as though they're going to get a greater share from corporations at the expense of shareholders and small business owners. While I don't fully agree to this and believe in shareholder capitalism, I also agree that- Oh, he's advocating for shareholder capitalism. <laughs> I'd rather a bunch of useless leeches who sit around and invest all day make most of the profits. Fuck the people who work for the company and actually make it function. Those wage slaves make too much as it is. What a psycho. Capitalism is good to some extent. After all, it was Henry Ford that believed that the way to grow his business was to make sure that his factory workers could also afford the cars that they were making. Paying the workers more so they could bring their standard of living up is a good thing. Does that make Henry Ford a communist or a capitalist? He he's, a, he's a capitalist. Henry Ford was a capitalist. He was a capitalist and believed that by creating a new market for every employee and person to own a car, he would end up becoming even greedier. He believed that he could enrich the lives of other people as well as himself at the same time. Was he just virtue signaling by trying to pay his employees enough money to buy the cars they built? Probably not. But today's shareholders, do you really believe that they'll pay their workers more money and give them an actual living wage? Probably not, as they already don't pay taxes. They just want to push men out of the high-paid positions and give those to women and minorities. What? Why do you... Again, the MGTOW people and the people we talk about when they talk about, like, whenever... And this happened recently with the assistant, like, director of health or whatever, who is a trans woman, too. Everyone I saw who's, like, a chud come across this and talk about it has said they just got the job because they're blank, whether it's trans woman, whether it's, you know, you know, in some other position, a, a black woman or just a woman in general, whatever the person happens to be that isn't, like, a straight, cis, white dude. Um, and they always assume the person only got the job because they aren't a straight, cis man, as if... It's impossible for the best candidate for a job to be anyone but a straight white man. They reveal so much when they say this shit. Because to them, anyone who is like employed and is chosen for a job and they aren't a straight white dude, well, it must be a diversity hire because there's no way someone who's a straight white man couldn't do a better job. It's always so revealing and it is so frustrating to listen to these idiots talk about this and simply look like they're virtue signaling to boot. If they really wanted to change things, they would let the system really reset by letting the interest rates rise and ending the stimulus from the Federal Reserve that it creates to keep the stock markets artificially high. Instead, what we're now witnessing is fascism wrapped in the virtue of equality. <laughs> not, having a, uh, not having an entire ruling class of white people is fascism. Don't worry, though. All the other stuff is fine. As long as they're all white, it's not fascism. What? Fascism is the merger of corporate and state power. That's what we're seeing now. The very thing that the left was accusing Trump of being a fascist is what they're implementing right now. No, no, they're not. Right now, a woman will accuse you of cheating on her, but she's the one practicing infidelity behind your back. What? What are you talking about? And if she accuses you of it first, and you catch her cheating, you can't bring it up. Because she accused you first. What are you even talking about? You're single. Sandman is single and has been for years and years. What imaginary situation is he concocting in his head to try and make women look bad? Accuse your political opponents of the very thing that you're guilty of. To first take away their ammunition. It's also ironic that many of the images of males I use in this video, the men have no idea how their standard of life is going to be impacted as their jobs are handed off to other groups. Actually, it was hard to- You are not entitled to every job because you're a white dude. Do you think you own those jobs? Do you think every job belongs to you and that if anyone other than you specifically gets it, then they've taken that away from you? It's not yours. You are not entitled to that. Find pictures of white males standing up against Trump. 
there were only a few that I could find on the stock page that I looked through. But there's something that the establishment right now isn't thinking about, and that's technology. If you listen to Jeff Booth, he's spoken to government central bankers up here in Canada and explained to them that the money printing won't solve the problem. And they told them they know, but they also can't stop printing money. The Silicon Valley company shareholders, the real owners, and not their minority employee stakeholders, believe that somehow they can stop progress and cryptocurrency from destroying their share prices and currency. Cryptocurrency is and continues to be the stupidest thing ever. It's an it's it's the ri most ridiculous speculation bubble ever. I mean, fucking the the Holland tulip situation is reasonable by comparison. Cryptocurrency is stupid. <laughs> they built their businesses on technological deflation and believe that new technologies won't show up and make them obsolete as well. We are seeing that with Parler and Gab killing off Twitter. Parler is planning on an IPO in the next two years. It provides probably not anymore. They're not even up right now, are they? I know they're planning on it with the help of some Russian site, but I don't know if they are. Let's look. Parler. Is Parler the website spelled with an ER? So they're still working on it, but the site's not up. They just have updates. Okay. It's value that Twitter doesn't, which is freedom of speech. <laughs> I want to go online and threaten the public figures for some reason. Why won't Twitter let me do it? Falling precipitously. Thanks to technological deflation, such costs are increasingly becoming irrelevant. There have been video sharing platforms before that died two or three years ago because of the cost of video hosting. But now we have BitChute, Odyssey, MGTOWN, TV, and Rumble, just to name a few. Yeah, they're probably not going to last for the next five years. I could be wrong. Some of them, I would imagine at least one will probably continue to exist because the user base is ideologically driven politically. They're usually these MGTOW people or like white supremacists or far right, alt right types. There's some crossover between all of those. I'm aware. I'm just trying to cover the bases. So it's possible one or more of those sites might exist, but I don't think their business model is very sustainable. Let me put it that way. YouTube's advantage was that Google was subsidizing its server costs when they were too high. But now that hosting is sustainable and cheap for others, they're about to eat their lunch. People will go to where they are free and treated the best. As a result, big tech will lose their audience and their shareholders will sell their shares and go their own way from them. Also, to all the people that don't believe in global warming, just look at how warm this winter has been. A lot of that has to do with there being a lot less global dimming. You're probably wondering what the hell is global dimming? It has to do with the amount of particulate from pollution that's in the air, and it blocks out the sunlight, hence dimming. Airplanes create artificial clouds known as contrails, and those reflect enough sunlight out of the atmosphere to decrease the temperature by 2 degrees by reflecting the sun away. This was proven during 9-11 for the first time when the planes were grounded, and now we're seeing it with the COOF grounding most planes yet again. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about the claims he's making about this. <laughs> While I don't agree with any sort of new green deal and think it's going too far, we still need to transition to more sustainable energy. It's going too far to put, what, money behind renewable energy that we're going to need both for environmental and practical reasons? What? Even Elon Musk agrees. Fuck Elon Musk. Elon Musk is, Musk is an idiot. <laughs> I don't give a shit what Elon Musk says. Solar power is putting natural gas and coal out of business. In 10 years, fossil fuels will be twice as expensive as renewables. You would be crazy to use coal or gas when solar is half off. Biden is right to push for renewables. In fact, my renewable stock shot up when it became clear he was going to win the election. I don't see the world the way that I want to. I see it the way it is, and I change my investment philosophy appropriately. If you fall in love with only one stock or commodity and refuse to admit that you're wrong on a trade, you will stubbornly wipe your wealth away. Just look at Peter Schiff in Bitcoin. He's a diehard gold bug, and gold might die as a store of value someday. Oh well, there goes the wealth of all those fat Indian aunties. They might be forced to slim down because they can't afford Slim Jims no more. The elites are hoping that creating inflation- What is he talking about? Inflation means that people will have no choice but to spend their money. But most people will buy untaxable assets to store their value because they'll probably be taxed heavily with regards to real estate. The elites can't close the wage gap so they'll print money and hand it out to women and minorities first. The people that receive the money first in the period of inflation or hyperinflation benefit the most. Those that own the corporate stocks will also end up losing. 
not as much as everyone else, but they still will lose. Just to conclude this video, even if Biden pushes through the Great Reset, corporations are not going to have tr The Great Reset is not real! ...true stakeholder capitalism, the way that Henry Ford had imagined it. Sure, they'll hire more minorities and put women in top management positions, but men will still build far more efficient models elsewhere and drive those businesses out of existence, because they're inefficient. Even if they hire and help minorities, they still won't pay their fair share of taxes. It's all about appeasing the leftists by making them feel like they've won. Who drew this? Can I just- who drew this? <laughs> That's terrible. But in reality, they'll just raise taxes and bribe them with their own money in the form of universal basic income, thus cementing the financial gains that they themselves have made. To all the leftists out there- Why would you be against UBI that would benefit you, who is presumably a straight white man? There, that voted for Biden, you've won. And now you'll have to go and to borrow a Bitcoin meme, have fun staying poor. Up to the beginning of the pandemic, Trump was making America prosperous. He didn't understand the nature of exponential- Up until- <laughs> Up until he killed 400, what, what, what's it now? It was 417 last I checked. Up until he killed, ah, oh, 420, blaze it. Up until he killed 420,000 people with his inaction. He was doing great. Potential functions when it comes to the coup and it cost him dearly. He added 25% to, was it the deficit or the national debt? I don't remember. It was a ridiculous amount though, but he was doing great. As for Biden voters, enjoy the money printing and increased poverty that will make you feel even more disenfranchised, meaning you'll vote for Democrat presidents forever. You're too stupid to realize you're voting against your own best interests. Trump put an extra 5000 Says a Trump voter. The irony. It burns. ...dollars in everyone's pocket. And that's why he had to go. He made all the other politicians look bad. The <laughs> cognitive... No, he mostly made himself look bad. ...of dissidents from people on the left is incredible. You can't connect wealth with corporate shareholders, only CEOs. But in the end, it doesn't matter if it's on the left or the right because both sides make the money printer go burr. What are you talking about? I hate both wealthy CEOs and corporate shareholders. What? But Biden makes it burr faster. Remember, don't go nuts taking Biden too seriously at his word. He's a politician after all. In reality, Joe will be making wealthy white males like himself and his son a priority behind closed doors. Quite possibly, yeah. He's a politician, but Trump was also doing that and he was also a fascist on top of it. So, what are you going to do? We'll continue to try and push for progressive Democrats who don't take money from big corporations and don't pull that shit? And we work with what we have right now. That's pragmatism. While pretending that he's making everyone else a priority. Keep printing that money faster and faster, increasing asset price inflation so my gold, Bitcoin, and stocks keep going up. While I do nothing. Take all I cannot wait until Bitcoin, like, just decimates itself. That's gonna be the salt on the day. And I know Bitcoin has crashed multiple times and it's recovered. The day that Bitcoin actually really, really collapses is gonna be amazing. All the minorities and useful idiots to work for a living and give- Partially because Tate is invested in Bitcoin, like, big time. So, that'll be fun. ...them token positions of authority in hyperinflated money to spend on Twix bars. I'm looking forward to it, and you are my president, even though I'm Canadian. LOL. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again, Joshua, for the donation, and I hope you enjoyed this topic. Don't forget to smash the like button the way that lefties are about to get smashed up their financial swing swings and like it. Bang the bell and check out the mystery link. Follow me on BitChute, Twitter, and Facebook to get tomorrow's video. Uh, Color by Me says I made 2k off Bitcoin, withdrew it all, and walked away. Felt too much like gambling. Same. I made like 500 something dollars on Bitcoin at one point, and I got I got out. I was like, nope. <laughs> I got I, I I I made my money. I'm out. And even then, I never took it seriously. It was a speculation game. It's playing the greater fool, right? I never think Bitcoin is worth anything. However, it's a speculation boom, and people buy it, so you make money. But eventually, that's unsustainable. That collapses at some point. Video today. Subscribe to me on Minds and Gap to get the video for the day after tomorrow. This channel's been demonetized. And if you want to help me keep making content, then please support me through Subscribestar. There's a link to it in the description. Or you can do an hour-long coaching chat with the Sandman for 45 US dollars. 
and I won't rush out the door like some cheap whore. Thanks for taking your daily dose of red pills, and remember, a red pill a day keeps President Kamala Harris away. So enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers. God, I hate Sandman. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Women react to MGTOW. Yikes. Oh no. This video isn't... I, I don't want to watch this, but the title is Here Comes the Hornado. And that's that's so ridiculous and self-parody, I almost feel like I have to watch it. Hi everyone, Sane Man here. This video is brought to you by a donation from Anonymous40, and he has a lot to say. Before I get to it, let me first tell everyone about today's sponsor, the MGTOW Book Collection. I don't care about Tim your Patton has written book five collection. MGTOW books. MGTOW is forever. <laughs> Nothing's more manly than a book cover with a beefcake on it. Where is the And I quote, Dear Sane Man, one of the things I miss the most about the now defunct Tom Lyka show is that he had a segment called Reports from the Front. This is an hour in which men would call in and tell what their lives were like in different situations. Mary divorce going through a divorce. I think it would be cool if in your radio show you would ask for reports from the front. I myself am a 40-year-old divorced purple pill man, which has a much younger girlfriend, but I have one child in shared custody. I don't mind giving $1,000 a month of support to the child's mother. I can afford it, and this is what I would be doing during the marriage anyways. I left my marriage when I felt ignored in so many major decisions such as selling the house, arranging daycare, and kicking my mother-in-law out of the house. I got to the point where I would actually put my child in daycare, and my wife would cancel the daycare. In the meanwhile, I was the only one working. The hardest part was that I was expected to work while also performing childcare when I got home. I was already so exhausted that I couldn't drive to and from work. I thought that I was going to die in a car accident. But when I would arrange for a babysitter, the wife would unarrange it and say that it was my responsibility. I got sick, my hair was falling out, I was gaining weight, and yelling at my co-workers from all the stress. Why must men suffer so? What has happened? When did child You're care- You're telling me I have to take care of my child? Bullshit. Financial stability both fall on the man. I was so exhausted that I couldn't do my job properly and had to eventually resign. It was getting dangerous. I eventually decided that I couldn't die, I had to take care of my family. The last straw came when my evil mother-in-law threatened to call the police on me and made up lies about me and my wife wouldn't let me kick her out of the house. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they were lies. Pardon me if I don't believe someone who writes into Sandman's MGTOW channel on a video entitled Here Comes the Hornado. Instead, she said that I had to leave my own house. That was when I knew that I needed a divorce. My own home ceased being mine. I came to several conclusions. It's your family's house. If you have a family and you all live in the house, it's not your house. It's your family's house, of which you are a part. But if you refuse to be a part of that family... One, if you're going to get married, you should have a million dollars already. Literally. For childcare space and a house to live, etc. This will allow you to take a year off of work, which you probably will need. Number two, if you're going to get divorced... You should definitely have 50-50 custody on paper, even if you don't mean it or want it. I'm serious. Give her any money she wants. That is less important. But you also have to make sure that your wife can't legally take your time with your child away. Number three, no woman is going to keep her career after having a kid. At least not for about 10 years. Never expect it. Yes, men are the only breadwinners, but you'll have to do child care too. Number four, once a child comes, the woman thinks that she can make all the decisions. You have to stand up to this or hopefully find in a Walt, they will follow your decisions. You know father knows best. Number five, you don't have to get married at 30. Twenty-something girls will date you into your late 30s and want to marry you. My main advice is to expect nothing from your wife once she gets her kid. You will do everything. You will be a... Okay, yikes. <laughs> That's enough. I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out of his shit. <laughs> so that Sandman. Ridiculous.